This is going to be a Bomba test version 5. I have made my final calibration, not, excuse me, not Bomba test, uh, GG version 2 test model 5. I have officially and properly set it up, and I'm almost certain that it is finally set up in a proper manner that will work to my liking and to the server's capabilities. Uh. For those who do not know, GG was originally intentionally designed to be a very small, kind of a, like, useless, uh, I don't even know what you would call it, but it was just a tiny little surface, or, I'd say, crossland missile. It has now been redesigned, and is now more than capable of being a smaller sized tactical nuke that its size may not its size matters not as Yoda would say this test is going to take place in the nearest by woodland mansion just to get an overall feel of this weapon this weapon's capabilities consist of fire as well as very very large impact radiuses to forest as well as buildings made of wood at this size we will now begin the test by entering Ant Hill's war room and launching the required target that has been set. We will now enter the property and continue to see what will happen. My best guess of this weapon is it will cause impact damage to the center of the building which is honestly where we're going to want to be oh, shit oh, screw you oh, screw you uh, these guys won't be alive for very long laugh when this thing comes down. Evidently it should be here soon. And that's the lag spike we're going to encounter from it. And I'm possibly dead. For those who do not know, I oh I survived but barely. It does lag a little. You do have to cut some slack. And there it is. Holy crap! Oh! oh. Okay. Okay. I'm very much still lagging. I am very much so lagging because of all the fire that is taking place. I have to use game mode 3. Alright, holy shit. Whoa. Okay, it appears that our bomb actually made a pretty large impact damage. There's so much fires going on right now that it's physically impossible to move in there. But as you can see, surrounding outlines are completely engulfed in flames. This weapon, like I said, is designed to create forest fires and destroy large wood buildings like I demonstrated. Although the effects of the effects of the GG are very interesting. It is a nice armor piercing sized bomb. It can pierce through shells and explode an impact without having the exterior of a building or whatever it pierced into exploded. 
which makes it highly vulnerable and highly effective in destroying large wooden buildings or buildings that you need to destroy literally the inside of, but not the out. Because GD is based off of an extremely overpowered fireball, it uses essentially a command that uh, would allow it to not destroy anything cobblestone. Which makes it perfect for people that think they're going to surround their base or make it out of cobblestone. As much as you be initiated and move into the hall of it to destroy it. As of right now, the Woodland Mansion is practically totaled. As to be expected. As my chunks slowly update here, you can only get a view of the blaze that's taking place. My chunks are not loading correctly because of how much entity of fire is going on. As you can see, the fire is spreading further and further out and causing more and more damage. This is just an example of what GG can do. It is uh, a very interesting weapon. Definitely one of the most interesting I've made. It, believe it or not, in, is in a way a tactical nuke. Because of the blast radius around it, creates this gigantic ball of fire, kind of like radiation in a way. Anything caught in a forest during this blaze is sure to die. There is no doubt in that. As you can see, there is a clear, I mean clear circle of impact going around this. This is a very interesting weapon. Anyhow. I think this concludes the test. As you can see, this crater right here is where the original is where the detonation point was. Gigi pierced through the center of the building, landed in the main hall of the building, and detonated a blast void in this area, causing a major, I mean major, like, out surrounding and fire. Now here's the interesting part that I like everyone to remember here. Keep in mind, what just happened was on basically in the ground. When it exploded, there was a gigantic building surrounding it, preventing the fire from escaping. Just keep in mind that when GG pierced through the center of the building, landed in it, and blew up, it basically blew a fire radius, it basically blew through the building and emitted a fire around it. Imagine what would happen if the building wasn't there to protect the out surrounding forest from fire. So, that's a good example of what GG can do. Now that you know, and now that I know at least, full capabilities, I am sure not to use this weapon in, unless in a dire emergency. This concludes my test.